top stories tonight. Vice President Kashim Shatima visits as death toll from Boronu suicide attack rises to 32. Nigeria Customs intercept 844 rifles, rounds of ammunition. Court dismisses Namdi Kanu's one billion naira suit against the Nigerian government. Mauritania's incumbent Gazwani wins re-election with 56.12% of vote. It's good to see you. Thanks for joining us. I'm Felicity Ezewike. Our coverage tonight begins in Boronu State, northern Nigeria, where the country's vice president, Kashim Shatima, says the dead toll from the multiple suicide bomb attacks in the northeastern Nigerian town of Waza over the weekend has risen to 32. Shatima made this known after visiting the state specialist hospital in Maiduguri, where some of the wounded were being treated New Centre's Omaru Kirawa completes the report. The pain of the multiple Goza bomb explosion still lingers as patients struggle to survive the brunt of the heinous act. The attack, which resulted in significant casualties, has left the Goza community in mourning. Nigeria's Vice President Kashim Shatima is here at the state specialist hospital Maiduguri with other government functionaries to offer comfort and support to the victims. As Jele Jiwa said, one life lost in cold blood is as gruesome as millions lost in a pogrom. Our hearts go out to the victims. So far, we have recorded 32 deaths. 42 were brought in from Goza. About 14 have been discharged. About 26 are currently receiving attention. And I want to use this forum to most sincerely register our profound gratitude to the Borno State Government, to National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, and the State Emergency Management Agency and ICRC for rising up to the challenges of the times and giving their best in terms of support. During his visit, the Vice President Shatima interacted with the patients and medical staff, pledging enhanced support for those affected. The House of President Bola Matinebu is with the victims, and he specifically instructed us to come and offer our condolences and commiserations to the victims of this incident. We are here with the Director General of NEMA, with the Minister of Agriculture, with the Minister of Transportation, and of course, the Chief Whip of the Senate is a son of the soil from Goza. So he was here since yesterday. And the acting governor had been working around the clock to provide succor and support to the victims. The Vice President emphasized the government's commitment to improving security in Borno State and supporting communities devastated by terrorist activities. Families in Goza are still under curfew as they patiently await unfolding development to regain their means of survival. In Maiduguri for New Central, Umuru Kirawa. We will be speaking with a political security analyst, Katon Onuju, on the latest from Boronu State, but in the meantime, let's tell you that the Nigerian Customs Service seized a significant cache of arms and ammunition at the Portakot Area 2 Command in One. The Controller General Adewale Adeniyi announced on Monday that acting...